On behalf of the our Divine Word College community, I would like to welcome you all, our lay people, religious brothers and sisters, our brother priests. Your presence here with us is the greatest gift give to our community, especially to our brother Peter Viagolu, who is going to profess his final vows today to be a religious missionary in the Society of Divine Word for life. O Lord, Holy Father, graciously confirm the resolve of your servant Peter and grant that the grace of baptism which he desired to be strengthened by new bond may produce in him its full effect, so that he may render due worship to your majesty and spread with apostolic zeal the kingdom of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out, as shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep. So I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places which, to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the water courses and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture and the mountains heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land and they shall feed on rich pastures, pasture on the, on the mountain of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. First and green are the pastors where he gives me repose. Near as will water still its me to revive my dropping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Father Jerome, in 1911, he wrote a letter to Father Superior General Bloom. And in this letter, he begins by saying, Father Superior, you might have heard that I am a very sick man and that I be soon coming back to Europe, unable to continue my mission. But I can assure you it is not true. I went to Alexis Hafen to check my health with the doctor, and doctor checked me and told me that I have some kind of stones, probably gold stones, and they give me that acute pain. And it's true, I experienced pain almost once a fortnight to the point that I collapsed, sweating, and not being able to move. But then the pain passes away and I am able to function. The doctor told me that those stones probably will go away by themselves. And if not, I will have to be operated on. But that's nothing to worry about. I desire deeply to continue my mission. When I was reading this line, I was thinking what kind of man he was. How much pain he could put up with without throwing towel and running away. What fate, what conviction brought him to New Guinea? That he became one of the founding fathers of our mission here. 
Father Jerome went to New Guinea because he obeyed the inner voice of Jesus Christ, telling him, like the apostles, go to the ends of the earth and bring the good news. In those days, New Guinea was the end of the earth. On the 6th of April, 1944, American planes attacked the Japanese boat Yorishime Maru of coast of Wiwe. Boat was loaded with over 450 missionaries, brothers, sisters, priests. The Japanese soldiers told them to lay flat on the deck, take off anything white, not to draw attention, and lay still. About 10 planes hover over the boat and spray it with bullets. When the planes were gone, many sisters, priests and brothers lay still. Among those was Sister Theophane Meyer, an American Holy Spirit sister, who had a wonderful personality, a lively spirituality, and she was bringing relief to many people around Alexis Hutton. She was a nurse. <coughs> she would go for patrols, and she begged her superiors to allow her to ride a horse. She was very good with horses. She loved them, and they loved her. She was able to break the horses in, prepare them for riding, and then teach them to road to go for the patrol and come back. As you know, the boys are competitive and they love boasting. And she writes in one of her letters that there were some new American missionaries that just came and they wanted to go for a bit of spin and patrol and they asked me for a horse. And I said, what can you ride? And one of them said, I can ride anything. And I gave him just a mild horse, and in 30 seconds he was on the ground. <laughs> she was a character lady. And the tra tragedy is that she was shot by her one dogs. The pilots were Americans, not knowing what they were doing. Those people are remembered. We love to remember them because as Father Jerome saw Sister Teofane obey the words of Jesus, go to the whole world and bring the good news. And they did just that. Peter, you also heard the word of Jesus Christ. Like many of Divine World missionaries before you, like all your conferences who stand here today, you also want to join the society in preaching good news and witnesses to Jesus' presence in his risen spirit. We rejoice today because it is the reason for celebrating to know that the spirit of the risen Lord is touching young men and women even today as you be standing here in front of us as a witnesses to your perpetual promise. Those three simple vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience are context in which you will minister, are the condition which will enable you to follow Jesus. And I believe you're going through the same steps as went the disciples. As the young man who wanted more to gain the kingdom of heaven and was told by Jesus, sell everything you have and follow me. I believe truly that you will definitely 
meet the cross in your life, like everybody who tries to follow Jesus. At the same time, you will be touched by the risen Lord, and you will indeed experience how the strength of God can carry you in the darkest hours. Your faith will be tried, but you'll be shaped for the mission. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joachim and Saint Hen, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint John and Saint Andrew. Peter, Maingu, we are going to solemnly promise you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to live for life, chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the constitutions of the Society of the Divine Word. I make these vows before you, Reverend Father Joseph Masiolek, SVD, as the representative of the Superior General and in the presence of this community. Lord, be you the witness of this offering which I bring to you this day in the presence of the church. May the Spirit of Christ come upon me. May he fill me with his manifold gifts. May he inspire all my activities. I want to give myself to you together with Christ in the Holy Spirit for the salvation of all. May all come to the knowledge of the truth. May your kingdom grow over all the earth as a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. May all come to acknowledge you as the one true God. Amen. May his way of life build up the church, advance the salvation of the world, and be a convincing sign of the blessings of the world to come. Lord, Protect and guide the servant of yours at the judgment seat of your son. Be yourself his great reward. Give him the joy of vows fulfilled, made perfect in your love. May he enjoy the communion of your saints and be with them in praise forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.